Look hey, yo, why are you ignoring me, bro? He's tired, dude. Eh, that's alright. Yo, alright, so we're back here again, and yeah, so I just ate dinner, and it was really, really good. It was like, oh, you wouldn't believe it. There was, there was a bit of winery, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the wine. But that's alright, I had some coke. Uh, so, anyway, I had, I had um, the wedges with the lamb and the salad, and it was pretty fresh. And as you can see right now, we're at the Gossen. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can hike there. Oh, bro, I, I gotta take that. It might be a pretty good flick. I just get that thing there. Just get that there. Oh, that was good. Oh, nice. There's a lot of mysteries. There's also a bit of a mystery about this place. So, like, there's these things going on, like, um, these mystery plants and kind of interesting and we don't know thing for sure there's a lot of these this is like there's this huge chain like yeah there's a very big huge chain it just goes all the way there and uh there's not much to explore i mean i'll show you the motel later but it's actually pretty close like from this restaurant to our motel it's like maybe like 500 meters away it was actually it's not that far i, I can probably run there but yeah. All right, so far I just moved into this uh, four star, not five star, four, st four star uh, motel. So you just simply open the door and put this in like a key receiver with a stop top and just bam it. And boom, electricity is put on. Here's the bed. This is where I sleep or nap to gain energy. This here is the outside area. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get in yet. Actually, I can. Uh, I tried the last time, it didn't work, but apparently you can. So this is where I go outside and watch the sky. This is, I actually have two of these. I have two of these lamps, and this is where I basically uh, see shit that I can't see in the dark. Uh, there's it. Ongoing TV where uh, it was actually left for a couple of hours and yeah, it's kind of sauce Two classic. Oh, no three classic Mountain News <laughs> Gotta get into it. Uh, that's the table where I do my studying shit or I Look through my photos uh, My air conditioner so in case I overheat That's me clothes luggage and the bathroom, but you can always see over there, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's a small room because it's only a four-star motel, so you got to understand that point. And I'm he also here with my family, but uh, they somehow got me a separate room, so I'm have, so this is actually like my room alone. So yeah, it's pretty sick, so I have to take care of it. So yeah, that's going to be a new experience. Uh, I'm just going to chill. I don't know, but for the next three hours or so. And lastly, not to forget, but there are also some mysteries about Dixon Creek. So we haven't like fully explored the whole place, but so far we've already seen the wine and all that stuff. There's also supposed to be a aquatic center, but I'm not too sure if we're gonna go there. Three hours later. All right, so we arrived in Mandela Wines. There are a lot of barrels, like a lot, and we see here more wine trees and it makes sense because this place is literally all about winery so and the fact is this restaurant is called Mandela Wines so yeah um and to be honest again this was like I'll say this is like 800 meters ahead of the motel where I came from so it's actually not that bad now if you just continue the walk now look at this you just continue it and look at that you can get like three flicks of that worth the next morning all right it's day two and uh yeah well now right now it's eight in the morning and i just woke up 
And let me tell you something. It was like the worst. I, I, it was like the worst sleep ever. It wasn't that good. I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it wasn't really that good. But in the morning, I, all, all I did was did some bit of Netflix and chill. And now we're just going to wait for breakfast. And yeah, we're just going to have to wait where we're going to have to go next. Two hours later. Alright, breakfast is done, so now we're just going to have to wait and see where we're going to go. And judging by this map, uh, from this map, actually we have uh, we have no idea what we're going to do. We might go to another place. I feel, I, I, I sense a bit of a wine factory grind, you know. And I see more barrels and the one and only dog. This is where we uh, become beggars. And uh, they, they pretty much give us mercy of all times. Goodbye, motel. Alright, alright. I'm not sure if you hear this, but right now, uh, we're in a dark, we're in a very, uh, we're in a chocolate factory. It's an ice cream factory. Literally, you can literally get fat here. Look. You see this? You can, you can literally get fat. And it turns out this isn't. This is the only area where it's not like it's not completely winery, so it actually works. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna do some bit of shopping and see what's there. Oh, and I also found something that's actually necessary. Find the letter F. Yeah, look at this. You can literally get fat. And there's so much. You want to get a ice cream as well. I wonder what I'm gonna buy. Anyways, guys, that leads us to the end of our Dicks and Creeks vlog. I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching that video uh, and that editing montage. And yeah, I've learned a lot uh, going over there and like what kind of restaurants and what kind of um, wine farm they use and yeah I, I learned a lot thanks to uh, this nifty thing over here and uh, as you can see I don't know if you can see that part, but there is a lot of wine names and I've learned all of them and memorized them so yeah pretty useful and uh, I've also learned the mystery about Dixon Creeks uh, after reading that but yeah I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy yourself and yeah peace out I'll see you next show.